today I went to a place that was a recommendation. I went to Down Country Grill, which is a new location downtown. Uh, they're actually located inside of the Hope Health Building. And there's probably a few things over there that we need to try, but we got to do things one at a time. So I'm going to unbox this for the first time with y'all, which is what I prefer to do. And it's morning time and we got a breakfast burrito. Pretty decent size breakfast burrito. So they've got two different breakfast burritos. One is their Southwest burrito. Wow, this thing is kind of massive. And the other is the one that I got, which is their country burrito. I think it's a down country burrito is what it's called. I put the menu on your screen there, but they have sandwiches, wraps, uh, kind of standard type lunch menu along with burgers. And we will have to get over there and try their burger and rank that for our burger ranking in Florence. But this morning we got this breakfast burrito and I'm gonna tell you, this thing is quite massive. Grilled on the bottom on the flat top. Did I say flap top? Grilled on the bottom on the flat top. Okay. <laughs> Down country burrito. It's hash browns, eggs, cheese, and then your choice of meat. And I got sausage. And aioli, which is probably just mayo. But let's try it out. When I get burritos, I always have to get rid of some of that tortilla. There's always like an excess amount that I just don't need. Okay, so the first thing I noticed right when I bit into it was, okay, this is seasoned. I didn't, I didn't know what to expect and um, definitely noticed that. Hmm. It's the hash browns that are seasoned like that. Now there's a lot of sausage in here too. Let me try a piece of this because I think I'm correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good breakfast sausage. It's um, It's got a Jimmy Dean flavor to it. I mean, it could be Jimmy Dean, I guess, but I don't think it is. I actually think it's a better quality sausage than Jimmy Dean, which is a good thing. There's nothing wrong with Jimmy Dean. But if you can give me Jimmy Dean a better quality, that's even better. I'm not getting any of the aioli, though. 0.0%. .0%. All right, let me get one more bite, and then I'm going to tell you what's going on with this. So I told you the first thing that I noticed when I bit into it was that it's seasoned which is good but then immediately i mean immediately right behind that i was like wow this is salty too and i figured out i had to make my way through it a little bit i figured out what's going on and it could be as simple as somebody just got heavy-handed this morning on it but it's the hash browns it's specifically the hash browns the hash browns are just really salty i'm not detecting any of the aioli which is unfortunate because that would have been a nice addition if it was detectable on there and there's not a whole lot of egg and cheese it's mostly hash browns and sausage. Now, with that being said, there's a good bit of sausage in here, and I'm a fan of it. It's pretty good. Like I said, that's the best way I could describe it. It's got a Jimmy Dean flavor to it, but it does taste like it's probably a little bit better quality. If they told me it was Jimmy Dean, I wouldn't be surprised necessarily because that is what it tastes like, but it does feel like it's better quality, and I'm just assuming it's actually something different. So overall, because of its size, the amount of food that you get in it, and it's done really well too. I would say it's cooked really well all the way around also. I'm gonna have to say this is actually pretty solid. I didn't know what to expect. I had no idea what to think. For me, the only thing that I would say, I don't want the salt to go completely away, go to the opposite end. I just want it dialed back a little bit, and I'd like a little bit more presence of that aioli. In fact, I think what would probably be better is if you just give me that aioli in a big enough ramekin that I can dip the corners of this in or pour it on there as I see fit, I think that would be the way to go for me. Uh, I'm not complaining about the amount of egg. It's not that there's not any. I mean, you can see it there. I mean, maybe it could have a little bit more cheese, but it's fine. I mean, the fact that it really doesn't need it, that would just be a bonus, I think is a testament to how good it is. It's actually, there's not a whole lot of cheese on it, but it's fine. It's really not problematic to me at least.
Now, the other thing I'll say is it did take a while for this to come out. I feel like I waited for a pretty long time. I didn't time it, but there weren't that many people in there. There were a few people ahead of me. And to the extent that when I went to check out the lady at the cast register, she was considerate about it. Like she literally said, I know it took a little while, but everything's made fresh to order, which I believe them. This has given me every reason to believe that it was all made fresh to order. And that's a good thing. I think what has happened to us in a lot of cases is fast food has spoiled us to what the amount of time it takes to cook something actually is. And you're getting a lesser quality product at a drive through line. So now we're kind of conditioned after decades of eating a lot of fast food to order something and just expect it to come right out. And you're increasingly in our community seeing restaurants that have signs. You can see some of them in our videos because I get footage of them and show them probably for this reason that say, hey, this is not a fast food restaurant. Be patient. And so is this double the price of what you would get at the Burger King? King drive through yes, this was 11 bucks. But is it also of better quality? And that's clearly obvious. And it's bigger, too. Yes, this is probably... I haven't had a breakfast burrito at Burger King or a place like it in a long time. But I would imagine this has to be double the size of what they're offering. So those hash browns are seasoned and salted. I can't quite pick up on what that seasoning flavor is. That immediately jumps out as something that you may not have been expecting. It's unique and it's a good thing. It's in a good way. It's almost an herby and herbaceous flavor to it. So would I eat this again? Absolutely. Um, I'd be interested to try their Southwest also, especially if it was a situation where I worked downtown or definitely if I worked in Hope Health. I mean, that would be a no-brainer. And again, the restaurant is literally in the Hope Health building. It's on the back side of the building. Yeah, so overall, I would give that an above average rating. That's pretty nice. Not bad. Uh, like I said, I'd make a couple of tweaks to it personally. And I bet a lot of y'all would feel the same way. So that's why I mentioned it to you. That would be my recommendation. Ask for the aioli on the side and try to get it in a vessel that's large enough for you to actually use it practically with the burrito. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, we'll have to go back and try their burger, get that on the ranking. And just on a personal note, may or may not be a video, but I would be interested now at this point to go back and try the Southwest burrito. That was really good. The size, the quality, the freshness, just overall, not bad. Definitely above average. All right, so again, that's Down Country Grill in the back of the Hope Health building on Irby Street. That's a pretty brand new restaurant. I think they're only a couple of months in existence down there. I want to tell y'all, as always, I really appreciate y'all. I've been interacting with quite a few of you lately around town that are viewers of this channel and also what we do on Facebook. And so I've really enjoyed that. I love hearing what y'all got to say and the recommendations that you send and things like that. So keep doing that. If you have any recommendations or you come across something that's interesting and you'd like to see us cover it so we can get it out there to the rest of the community, then just send me an inbox or an email. Just let me know. But in the meantime, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. I would definitely recommend you go over to Down Country Grill in the Hope Health Building and check them out. Uh, based on what I just had, here this morning i'd say that i would be confident they've probably got some pretty good things on their menu i'm looking forward to trying some more of it but in the meantime y'all take care and god willing we'll see you on the next video